Salutations gamers, I'm the OGG Game, and welcome back to the animation tutorial series. Today I think is probably going to be a little shorter episode, because we're only going to be talking about crouching. Now this is a question that somebody asked amidst uh, several other questions that I get, which is, uh, how do you get them into a crouch position, or what are mostly just, what about getting the character crouching or whatnot? So, crouching is actually not all that difficult of a thing to do. It can be... Uh, well, you might have, to, it might be a little tedious, no, no, I, I wouldn't even say that. Uh, as long as you understand what the, uh, the, what the animal or whatever it is that you're working with, especially because all, all you really need to do is know what the creature is so you know where the joints are and how their body moves. And the reason I bring that up is because, again, we're going to be working with a pony, which is going to be significantly different than a human. A human is bipedal with only the one joint in the knee, really. You it bend, so with a human, you, well, you bend at the ankle, you bend at the knee, and you bend at the hip. And most people can gather how that looks when it comes to trying to make a character, make them crouch, but a pony is quadpedal, it has four legs, and these legs bend differently than the others. So, first of all, let's just talk about where the legs would bend. So as you should know, in the back we have the rump and then the and then the leg itself and it is connected by a joint which goes the opposite the uh, about the opposite direction that you would typically think it instead of bending instead of bending th uh with at here going this way like this like this leg does, it doesn't, you know, bend that way. In fact, uh, hold on, if I can just... Is that the right? Yes. Instead of having a joint which bends like this, with the joint in the back, the leg will bend that direction. So that is something rather important to keep in mind when working with the different legs, because the front legs do bend in the typical way that you would expect them to, but they even have more joints than you might imagine, and the back legs bend in the opposite direction. So, in order to get... So, in order to... Uncheck that. So, to get the character to be in a crouched position, we need, first need to have the two separate pieces of that puzzle, which basically meaning we need to have the standing position and then we need to have the crouching position and then create keyframes in between the two to make sure that the animation runs more smoothly. So, I created a 12 frame animation which is a half a second animation which is a bit long. You'll 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 see when I when I play it is a bit long for a crouching animation, especially with somebody as bombastic and bouncy as Pinkie Pie, would be probably maybe about six frames or less, depending on how you do it. You could have a character go from a jump into a crouched position or something like that. But uh, the reason that I am doing a slower anim animation here, a slower version of the crouching animation, is so that you can see how the pieces move so that when you do a much quicker version of it you sh you'll understand how the pieces should be moving into place it's so it's better to understand all the the parts and how they move so that when you do it faster it's easier to understand where they all need to be to be in place so this is a crouch position let's talk about that so oops. Actually, the front leg isn't there. Let me show you here. There we go. So, this is a crouched position. Now, basically, the torso... Let me get the mane out of the way. The torso bends downward, so the front of the body comes further down than the rest of the body. Okay? So, the front of the body moves down here, while the back of the body stays mostly where it was before, although it does drop a little as well, but not as much as the front of the body. The front of the body drops down much more, and you can see here that the legs, the back legs, bend in this fashion because there is actually a joint here, but it bends in this fashion, 
and into the rump where it bends it bends back up into the body like this and you have the back leg here the one in the very back which is the same sort of thing okay actually I almost forgot to do something oopsie let me just grab my layer selector tool and readjust these colors just so that they are the right color. I forgot to adjust those colors, but that's easy to fix. Whoops. Hold on. Ah, 2.22. I can do that. 2.22. Done. Just adjusting the colors again, once again, just saying that, just adjusting the colors. So, again, yes, so, if I remove the main, you'll see where all these bends are. So in the front legs, just make sure get rid of this and the neck, get that out of the way so that we can see. First of all, we have a bend here, which you probably didn't know was there. There's a bend here, which bends forward, and the bend in the leg that goes this direction, like so. So it bends at quite a few different locations. So it bends backwards like so in this area. And, or rather, it bends forwards here and then backwards this way. Like so. So it should be in this sort of uh, shape. You'll see it. Right? Now, if we bring all these back. Actually, let me still take the main out just for a little bit. You can see through the animation, oh, actually I can just bring the main back, you can see through the animation, very slowly, the legs bend at those points, like so. If I get rid of the main, you'll see it better. It bends at those intervals, like so, so you have it bent there. And you can see the other point of the leg bending as well with it. And going into position. And if you see the back legs, the back legs slide back. Mostly bending at this sort of ankle, as I mentioned before. Causing the rest of the leg to bend forward this way. And then bending back upwards into the rump. Like so. And with the main in place, this is what all that looks like, just like so. And if I play the animation, you'll see it's a bit slow, but again, this is I made it slow so that you can see all the motions all together, so that when you go to make a faster version of this, you'll understand all the moving parts better, and it'll be easier to put it all into play. So there you go. There's a crouching position. Crouch. Now again, this is a bit slower. It's not the slowest, obviously. If, if I did a one second animation, then that would be way too slow. A half a second is a slower, but it is still a reasonable crouch motion. Where, But again, with Pinkie Pie, she probably would jump into a crouch or be very bouncy, as she's usually very bouncy. But again, just demonstration purposes, like so. Just like that. And you can see all the moving parts. And let me actually take the main out just so that you can see it. The rest of the moving parts as they go. Like so. Just like that. So hopefully you're seeing how all of these pieces move. Now, if you're wondering why the neck, this part doesn't really move is because, well, you would have the main there, and so you wouldn't see that part of the neck anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but if, but say you're working on a character that doesn't have that main there, then what you would want to do is to adjust the neck as need be, so as it's going down, you don't really want it to look like this. This looks a bit unnatural, so you could always bring it up like so. So the neck kind of moves along in this sort of fashion. 
like that, so you could always do it something like that. If you didn't have a main hiding the back of the neck, you could always just very simply do that. And it works. Works perfectly fine. Right, so that is the basics of creating a crouching animation. Again, there are other ways besides just having them go straight into a crouch. But this is standing and this is crouching. And now that you understand how the pieces move into place, you'll be able to move, you should be able to move the character from different positions into this crouching position. You don't have to have them standing up and get down into a crouching position necessarily, but maybe the character jumps into a crouching position or maybe they, or, uh, maybe they fall or something, or maybe they're on their belly and they get up from from uh, you know being flat on their face or something into a crouch position and then back standing up or something but this is the basics this is the moving pieces that you need to play with in order to make the crouching happen the bends in the legs need to follow this sort of pattern because this is where the joints are so that's what's very important and again if you were making a human crouch you don't have to worry as much with those parts because actually if I just let me just throw a couple of lines together it actually hold on layer one on frame zero if I just let me grab my freehand option freehand and do not do a taper okay so if I say I have oops let's make that color black actually Let's make this like a 10 and make this black. There we go. So with a person, like a human, if I'm just using a stick figure, so let's say the human is, say the human is just standing up like so, like this, in order for them to crouch, their body would bend more like this. See, it would bend at sort of the hip and the knees, like so. And if you were to have somebody facing you, like a front standing view, their knees would bend more along the way of this, as you can see. So their knees would bend towards you, like that. And that's if they are like facing you or something like that. So you can see that's kind of how a human would crouch, but with a pony you have the legs like this, and then the legs basically bend like that. That's the front legs, and then with the rump, you have the rump like so, and then the leg goes sort of like... No, no, sorry. You have standing, and then you have the rump, then it bends back, and like so, like that. So you have the rump and then it bends back and then at the ankle. And just ignore that one right there. Just just ignore this one, that one I messed up on. But yeah, hopefully you can, oh dear. Whoopsie. Rotated myself a little bit, but hopefully yeah, you can see what it's all supposed to, how it's all supposed to bend into place. Oh dear. I'm, now I'm just throwing things around everywhere. So hopefully you can see how everything is supposed to move, how everything is supposed to sort of look and bend and everything when trying to create this crouching animation. And I hope all of this was helpful. If it was, please leave a comment. Or sorry, if it was helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment se section below. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this episode, make sure to hit like on it and share it with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye-bye!